Well, last week we introduced you to the book Listen to Me by Beth Huffman, and you also met the woman who inspired that story, Kim Brinkman-Smith. So much more to say about the incredible story. We brought Beth and Kim back to Faith and Friends this week. Dancy Moeller has more. Well, hello, everyone. We recently spoke with Beth Huffman, who is a local author, and um, Kim Smith, who the book Listen to Me was written about. And um, recently we talked with you about your story and really had just a brief amount of time. And can you kind of take us through again your life's journey, at least up to this point, and, and what this book is about? Sure. Um, I feel God has always had a call on my life um, to share my story. And when I was 16 years old being diagnosed with cancer, um, quite honestly, the doctors told me, you will lose your hair, you will get sick, you will lose weight because of the chemo, you'll get a fat round face because of the steroids, and you may not have children. And I never let that last bit of peace set within my soul. I could see everything else coming to pass. So when we, decided to have children, um, and in the book you'll meet my husband, and um, we decided to have kids. We were able to have kids on our own, and so we have a 12-year-old boy now, Tanner, and our daughter Avery is nine years old, and she was diagnosed with hearing loss when she was born. And so the book deals with my internal struggles as a mom, um, and I've always tried to act like I think a lot of other people do, that we have it all put together, and that we um, are the best wife and the best mom, and we can handle whatever comes our way. And I tried for as long as I could to act like that, and then um, hit a period in, in time that I felt the Lord telling me to get real with people, and that's what this book has done. It shows everything good and bad in there. So wonderful that you shared it with us. And, and Beth, you know, cancer itself, just itself, has affected probably all of us in yes. some way or another. Mm -hmm. um, and then with the hearing loss of Avery um, and, and the parenting struggles that come with that, you know, the inner struggles um, are something else that we can, as parents, relate to. Is that what you saw in, in Kim's story? I did. Really, to put it in just a few words, when people say, what is this book about? My first response is, it's, it's a love story. Mm. And if you take it at the highest level, and that's why the book is called Listen to Me, um, Kim struggled, as we all do. We know in Jeremiah that we're promised, the Lord says, I have a plan for you, and it will prosper you, not harm you. Mm -hmm but we only hear parts of what we want that plan to be. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, it's a love story of God's unconditional love, but it's very touching in terms of a mother's unconditional love. Kim talked about her mother wanting to bear that pain. Oh, I know, that's something we can relate to for sure. And the minute you would see Kim with Avery, Avery can't walk through the room hardly unless she gives Kim a kiss mm -hmm. or hugs her. Yeah. Very affectionate. And there is that bond that is so idyllic that you wish every mother and daughter could have. I really want to emphasize this book is a memoir that is extremely faith-based. Mm -hmm. And Kim reflects that. In fact, your mm -hmm. prayer life was critical Correct. to your surviving both um, situations, Correct. right? Both challenges. Right. I have um, really grown through what I thought I had grown from having cancer. Mm -hmm. I've grown even more from the last nine years of Avery's life and accepting that. I've grown even more. And it's um, exciting to see what God has in store for the future because it's just getting to know Him, obeying Him, getting more in His Word. Yeah being patient too, I'm sure, right? Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Definitely. Well, before we let you two go, we've got to let our viewers know where they can find the book. Yes, we each have an email address. Mine is Beth okay. HM at roadrunner.com. You have to spell Roadrunner out. Right. Kim, you want to mention sure. your email? Sure, ours is B-K-T-A at fairpoint.net. Okay. 
Okay, and we'll see that on the screen mm -hmm. as well. And if you have any questions, you can always call the station here. But um, mm -hmm. and you also are very welcome to um, and very open to speaking. Correct around our area. We are doing a great deal of speaking. Uh, we speak for free. Okay. We do a lot with church groups, women's groups, civic groups. Um, we'll be going to a mother's club soon. And it has been really like watching a butterfly take flight. Sure. From the first time that Kim got up, um, she was very nervous, apprehensive. And as you can see, she is on solid ground. Absolutely. And does a wonderful job. She's, she is really that witness that her mother predicted she would one day be. Absolutely. Well, ladies, we're out of time. Thank you again for joining us, and Happy New Year to you. Thank you. Thank you, Nancy. Back to you. And you can learn more about Kim Brinkman Smith's story by reading Listen to Me. It's available by visiting Beth Huffman's website, danceintherain.me, or by emailing Beth at bethhm at roadrunner.com. Beth Huffman is also the author of Awesome Andrea and Run Amy Run, two other books that follow the inspirational lives of local individuals. Andy and Jennifer?